AdCAD allows you to create stairs starting from line and arch models. One way to define a stair model is a stair def command. This command, as you can see, has many options. It's possible to indicate the points by choosing the desired alignment or other values such as the size of the treads. In this case, for example, we want treads of 35 centimeters. It's possible to combine linear and curved segments. One way to define the curved sections is to indicate the three points to define the arch. In this case, we want the staircase to follow the wall, so we simply select the points along the arch of the wall using the near and end point object snaps. Let's now finish the model definition with a second linear segment. The Create Stair Command dialog box has a range of options, starting with the height of the stair for which we can alternatively specify the step riser or the distance between the floors, we can choose the type of structure. The Help button allows us to visualize the meaning of some parameters and to understand the type of structure. If we choose the flight structure, we can specify the various landings. The dialog box temporarily closes and you can indicate the points inside the landings. We can find other preferences on stair generation in the dialog box which opens by clicking the Advance button. We leave the dialog with OK and see the staircase that was generated. It's possible to work on the stairs to modify the properties and characteristics. You just run the Edit Stair command. In this example, we want to change the type of the step overhang. You can also change the shape and layout of the steps. To do this, we need to return to the Lines and Arches model. To return to the model, Simply select the stairs in response to the stair model command. For example, we want to create a landing in the centre of the arch. We delete the lines representing the rises and with the create stair command we select the model. Firstly, we select the line of the first step so the program understands from where we want to go up and then all the remaining entities. It doesn't matter if during the selection we also include lines or arches of the walls as they will be ignored. In the dialog box, we also try to change the type of structure. We want to generate only the treads and change the type of the plan representation. We leave with OK and here is the new staircase. Let's now add a handrail on the inner side of the stair. An appropriate command allows you to choose the type of handrail. For example, we want the type with vertical elements. Firstly, we are asked to select the side of the stair. The best way is to select it in the plan view. And then we are asked if we want to generate the handrails for the full length of the stairs or for a limited stretch. Another way to use the stair modeler is to manually draw the pattern of lines and arches. Or in some cases, you only need to add a parametric stair and use its plan representation. We then insert a corner stair taken from the library. We accept the default values and then insert it in the corner of the house. We change the insertion point until we find the desired one. To use the lines in the plan view that already represent a starting point of our model we need to explode the object and then delete the entities on the 3D layer and also delete the blue line of the path. On this initial model, we make changes so that it becomes the one we want. For example, we round the corner of the landing with the fillet command. Then we draw a riser in the corner that divides the landing in two. As you can see, it's not necessary that the line reaches the outer arch. At the inner edge, we don't want three steps to overlap. It could be dangerous. So, we then move the end lines 
of 10 centimeters. Suppose that at this stage the stair is what we want. In order for the modeler to recognize our model, we need to have the lateral boundaries of a different color. In fact, they need to be red. So, the other lines can be of any color except red. Let's run the create stair command and select the line of the first step and then all the entities that are part of our model. In the dialog box we choose the creating options that meet the requirements of our project. For example, the structure of type steps with the design values for the thickness. Finally, we see the isometric and shaded view and the generated three-dimensional staircase.